A Laguna Niguel man who struggled for years with excessive hairiness gives a new laser treatment of world. So does it work? Does it hurt? And would he still do it if he had to pay full price? Getting his body hair treated with this and... Hopefully won't have to shave it off. That'd be amazing. Absolutely. Be hair free. <laughs> Changed my life. Marcus Lee has battled hairiness most of his life. He started shaving at 11. By the time he got to high school, the teasing was relentless. Everybody called me Chichia, -ch 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 um, Missing Link, you know, you know, um, Yeti, and Sasquatch. For as long as he can remember... Everything in my life revolves around when and where I can shave. So that's why Marcus signed up for $7,000 worth of laser treatment at American Laser Centers. They were pretty much guaranteeing me that it was gonna, I'm going to be hair free. But after six treatments, he couldn't go on. I basically was shaking, convulsing. I couldn't take the pain. And worse yet, after all that pain and expense... I shave every day. I shave just as much as I ever did. Even in the areas hit by the laser. We first brought you Marcus's story last summer. Long Beach plastic surgeon Marcel Daniels was watching and offered a free consultation. How many times a day do you have to shave? The answer, too many to count. I've got, well, I've got a razor in the car, one at work, and one at home for constant, um, wow, keeping up with myself. Mark's problem is he was uh, genetically uh, cursed, I guess. In a certain ethnic uh, population, certain people are just naturally born hairier than others. And Dr. Daniels is certainly familiar with laser agony. He's seen in his own office the pain for dark, hairy patients getting treated with older model lasers. We had to turn the stereo up in the office so that you wouldn't hear them yelping while they're getting their treatments. But Dr. Daniels says newer lasers can be less painful. This one, called the Soprano. It delivers the energy a little differently so you get a much more gradual heating of the hair follicles, which makes it much more tolerable. Dr. Daniels and his staff offered to let Marcus test the Soprano for free. Over five months, he got several treatments to his chest, arms, back, and hands. We checked in with him after his last treatment to find out how it all went. I'm seeing progress. What's happening, too, is the hair is thinning. The day we met up, Marcus had not shaved his back or chest in over a week, and... I can almost go out in public like this and not feel like a beast <laughs> the way that I used to. Marcus says his back and chest responded the best. His arms and hands are still a struggle. The positive... I can go a whole day or two days and it feels smooth still, you know, and then maybe day three, I'm starting to feel the spikies coming in. And Marcus can pretty much forget his dream of tossing the razor. So I'll razor my car for my face. <laughs> As laser technician Susie Foster explained, lasers are rarely even tried on the face or neck because it almost never works there 100%. And they're going to have still patches of hair and it won't look right. Marcus's verdict on the Soprano laser. That wasn't the miracle end all you know, to my hair problem, but I can do the shave probably now in five minutes compared to 20 to 30 minutes before. All right, so it helped a bit. Because his hair is thick and stubborn and required so many sessions, Marcus's treatment probably would have cost more than $5,000. Well, now that his free trial is over, he has stopped going. He says until his previous laser debt is paid off, he can't afford any new ones.